Money is the root of all evil is a saying that can be traced as far back as biblical times. Even until today, that exact same saying could be used in a certain circumstance. I mean, it only takes someone's unfortunate passing to break families apart, each family member going to quite literal wars with each other over inheritance money. There's many situations where money has been the sole root of an issue, and although, yes, money does help, a lot of people will still admit that it is truly the root of all evil. At some point in January of 2020, Jaden McFarlane, pictured here, was said to have gone to purchase drugs of a man by the name of Joseph Matimba, but for whatever reason, it's thought that he used fake £20 notes. Now, it isn't clear whether Joseph had noticed straight the way or not, but reports don't talk of an altercation between the two straight after the deal is made, so we'll assume that it was at some point shortly after. The thing was though, both Jaden and Joseph were said to have been pretty close to each other. In fact, they were originally a part of the same gang. But after this deal had been made and people figured out that fake money had been used, it's thought that the two went separate ways. Jaden was thought to have been a part of K-Block now, whilst Joseph was a part of NPB, or No Plan B. But again, after the deal was made, the two go their separate ways, and let's just say other people weren't too happy about this as well. You see, Jaden and Joseph had a mutual friend, Osita Alagboso, who was also a part of NPB, Joseph's gang, and he had became infuriated at the incident. So this transaction of using fake money, in a sense, was was a declaration of war. After the fake money exchange, both gangs were now at war with each other. Reports claim that threats were exchanged over messages specifically between Jaden and Osita. Believe it or not, before the month was even over, this beef had got that intense that people were already getting stabbed. On the 25th of January 2020, Kasim Ibrahim was stabbed by Osita in Memorial Gardens Ashford whilst sitting on a park bench with two friends. It's thought that Osita carried out the attack with a 14-inch Rambo knife. Kasim ultimately survived the attack but was said to have received a significant wound to the leg. But it didn't just stop after this, in fact, if anything, this just solidified that both sides were going to war with each other. And 10 days later, both gangs came face to face in Ashford County Square in the town centre. At around 1.30pm in broad daylight, police were called to the shopping centre following reports of two groups flashing knives and machetes at each other. But no reported injuries had been given and the situation was broken up fairly quickly because police had arrived at the scene. Over the next couple of days, more than eight people were arrested in connection with the investigation. But that's all the updates there is coming from that incident. From here, the repeated theme of threats sent continues, but all would go quiet for the next few weeks. That was until March the 14th. At roughly 12.25pm on the 14th of March 2020, it's been said that Jaden McFarlane was carrying out a drugs deal in Cluckhouse, just off Brookfield Road. Around the same time, Osita was making his way to that exact same location to also carry out a separate drugs deal. But when the two bumped into each other, Osita began running towards Jaden armed with two knives. He stabbed him twice, the knife broke, and the handle fell to the ground. Again, this was just with one of the knives. Jaden managed to get up and run away further down the clock house, but Osita wasn't happy that he didn't finish him off. So Osita continued to give chase along Clockhouse towards a small residence car park where he produced a Rambo knife, which he still had on him. Believe it or not, he then put it away after he seen someone getting into a car, so he couldn't finish off the job. Sadly though, the fatal knife blow had already been given. You see, roughly one hour after the attack, Jaden would go on to be pronounced dead after one of the knife wounds had gone through his chest cavity, cutting the edge of his spine and rib before entering the left lung. And it should be noted that Jaden wasn't armed at all. Either way, four minutes after the killing, both Joseph and Osita are captured on CCTV heading towards Victoria Park and then onto a KFC restaurant.
It's been said that along the route, the two stashed two knives near a bridge and then changed clothes in the disabled toilets at KFC. From here, 25-year-old Hassan Tejan collects them and took them to Canterbury to flee any police that might have been looking for them. It didn't matter, however, though, because shortly after the murder investigation was opened, all three were located and were charged for their roles in the incident. Osita and Joseph were charged with murder, which they denied, whilst Joseph was given an extra charge of perverting the course of justice, as was Hassan. Joseph would plead guilty to that charge, whereas Hassan didn't. Osita at this point had also pleaded guilty to wounding with intent in relation to the stabbing of Kasim Ibrahim at that park on January 25th, 2020. In court, of course, Osita and Joseph had denied the murder charge that was brought against them, and believe it or not, Osita was claiming self-defense. I won't break down everything that was said in court, but a few matters do need highlighting. Let's take a look at Joseph, for example. It's thought that after the murder had taken place, he gloated about the brutal killing. A rap song had specifically been made showing his approval of the incident. Initially, Joseph had been arrested and bailed for just perverting the course of justice, not murder. And while out on bail, he had posted videos on social media, one video depicting him smoking cannabis with the caption, two men down, two spliffs. This is in reference, the prosecution said, to the murder of Jaden and another K-Block gang member by the name of Lamps. Reports don't give his real name, so unfortunately, I can't find details surrounding that incident. Whilst both Osita and Joseph had been at what's been described as a safe house away from Ashford in Canterbury, it's thought that they received a phone call from a friend, an inmate who's currently locked up, but again, reports don't say who this is. Either way, this call is made to celebrate the death of Jaden. They spoke of how they would profit from it by moving up in the drugs world. The call was taped and played to the jury in court. What they heard had been described by the judge as sickening, adding that no one who had heard that recording will ever forget it. But I think the most shocking thing to come out in court was information surrounding a picture that had been taken of what was going to be the crime scene. No, this wasn't the police taking a picture or journalists posting it online. This had been a picture taken of Jaden's body after he'd been stabbed, which was then circulated to social media. This picture would later be sent by Osita to Joseph, where he glorified and took pride in the killing. But after an 11-week trial, Joseph was found not guilty on the murder charge or the lesser charge of manslaughter, whilst Osita was found guilty on the murder charge. Hassan had also been found guilty for perverting the course of justice because remember, he did plead not guilty to that and he was on trial for exactly that. Joseph was then released after time served on remand. Hassan was handed a one year jail sentence whilst Osita was handed a life sentence with the minimum term of 20 years plus four years to run concurrent for the stabbing that happened in the park on the 25th of January 2020. So as you can see, money truly is the root of all evil, to the point where people would even go out of their way to kill people over it, even their own friends, like we've seen in today's story. But give the video a like for more crime-related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.